in the last part of our little oscillator tutorial we show something completely different or not quite we have another plugin bundled with zebra which is zebralet and zebralet is basically a synthesizer of its own but it only consists of a zebra oscillator that means you have got the familiar stuff like the waveforms here. We can draw your waveforms. 16. You can, of course, smoothly blend between these. You can modulate all this. You have got the oscillator presets like the init one and everything. You've got a tune section with the tune modulations, portamento, vibrato. You've got the oscillator effects and the normalize here with the two effects with 21 types and with modulations. You've got the phase here with the sync options and the PWM. You've got the VCA section, which is the panning, the volume, and you even have dual quad and 11 modes, and also the modulations. And in the bottom, you have two envelopes, one ADSR and one of those multi-stage ones and a global LFO and a LFO per each voice and so basically uh, this is a synthesizer with only the oscillator as an audio tool there's no filter, no extra, yeah, no extra module and what I want to do is I want to show you through some effects or some presets that were done which uh, of course also only base uh, on one oscillator and um, one of my favorite ones resembles say um, a resonant filter and we can listen to it And what we've got here is, it's a spectrum with a peak, much like a resonant filter, which is triggered by a multi-stage envelope. And um, I can take the modulation away and we can just listen to a single sound. So you can basically do some uh, interesting filters already within the oscillator section. Mm. Another uh, really cool patch that I really like is uh, Biomechanoid's Sustained Attack, which um, is interesting because it uses the scrambler again with an LFO, which makes these really weird noises and it uses the fractals effect, which is a bit like a sync effect in itself. And it sounds like this, just listen. So this is massive. Um, uh, we have like some cool basses and of course uh, we have pads let's check out what this is yeah you can do these either real pads and there was one really interesting patch that I also liked yeah you can do um, ferment movements like you create several peaks within the spectrum and then you have like uh, ferment movements so you can do like what I call bad vocal samples <laughs> like that. <laughs> 
So, what I recommend is, if you want to go into Zebra's oscillators, you should start out with ZebraLED, check out what's possible, go through the presets, and then go over and use that in Zebra. Of course, Zebra also loads uh, presets from ZebraLED, and these can, of course, then be added with uh, filters and uh, all the effects that you have in Zebra. Thanks for listening.